So we're going to try this example another way. Um, what we saw before is that if you have a coefficient other than 1 when you're trying to perform synthetic division, you have to divide by that coefficient in order to rewrite it in that form where you have x minus r. Um, right? So in this case, our coefficient for our variable term is 2. So we would have to divide everything by 2. Right, and if we divide our denominator, right, because that's a negative one power, if we divide our denominator by two, we'd have to divide our numerator by two, which it works out okay in this problem because most of those terms are divisible by two, so you didn't have as many fractions. But, you know, if it was a polynomial where, you know, we were taking this and dividing it by three instead of two, six is divisible by three, but the rest of them aren't, so you're going to have all these fractions. What we can do is we can actually wait to do this division by 2. We're still going to um, take care of the dividing by 2 for our denominator, you know, what we're dividing by our divisor, that 2y plus 2, because we have to get it in that form to do synthetic division, but we'll wait to take our numerator and divide by 2. So I'm still going to rewrite this as y minus negative 1 half, because I'm going to divide those both by 2, that would give me y plus 1 half, and I need to rewrite it as a minus. So now we're going to perform um, synthetic division. We're going to do negative 1 half out here on the side. Right. And then we're going to put the rest of our numbers. So we have 4 and 4y four cubed, right? Negative 6y squared, 4y, and negative 1. And so we should get our remainder down here at the bottom in our last box. Okay, so let's do that. Let's begin by bringing our 4 down. If we bring our 4 down, then we take our divisor, the negative 1 half, and we multiply it times 4. Okay, so we're going to take negative 1 half times 4. And when we do that, negative 1 half times 4 is negative 2. Go ahead and add 6 plus negative 2. Right? Add those two together, and you get negative 8. And then we would repeat that process over again. So we're going to take negative 1 half times negative 8. And when we do that multiplication, negative times a negative makes a positive, and 1 half of 8 is 4. And again, we're going to add those together. 4 plus 4 would give us 8. And then we will finish it off by taking our negative 1 half that we have, timesing it by the 8 that we have on the bottom. Let me draw, there we go. And then negative 1 half times 8 is going to be negative 4 and add those last two together, negative 1 plus negative 4 would give us negative 5 for our remainder. So it was a lot easier here because, again, we didn't have fractions. Right? If we would divide all of this by 2, again, in this case we don't have fractions, but you could have fractions for these numbers here. So then you're adding a lot of fractions and you're multiplying, but you know, multiplying this negative 1 half, we didn't have any fractions with any of that work. Um, but now we're going to go back and we're going to do that divide by 2. But what I want to show you first is based on what our answer looks like, right, we would have, um, we went from a y cubed to a y squared. By doing this division, we're going to go from a y cubed to y squared. So we have 4y squared minus 8y plus 8 minus 5 divided by, now remember, you divided by this negative 1 half. You divided by, in this form, y minus negative 1 half, or y plus 1 half. But what we didn't do, what we said we were going to wait to do, was divide by 2. So now we have to take all of this and divide by 2. So we're going to take 4y squared and divide by 2. And that gives us 2y squared. Take negative 8y and divide by 2. That gives us negative 4y. Take 8 divided by 2 and that gives us 4. But what we have here is when we take this and we divide it by 2, what it's really going to do is it's going to turn it back into this form. 
We take this fraction and we divide by 2, and I'll show you over here on the side y, right? If you have 5 over y plus 1 half, and you divide it by 2, that's the same as taking 5 over y plus 1 half and multiplying by 1 half. So you'd have 5, 5 times 1, and then you would take 2 times y plus 1 half. 2 times y is 2y, 2 times 1 half is 1. So it gets you back to that form that you started with. So now we have negative 5 over 2y plus 1. So when you're performing synthetic division with this coefficient other than 1, we can just divide this part by 2. Do that for right now. Perform synthetic division like before. Then take everything that you have, your results, right, and divide them all by 2. But your remainder can just be divided by your original um, divisor. This remainder of negative 5, it doesn't get divided by 2. It just remains um, as being divided by the original divi divisor. It gets converted back to that. So our final answer here then is this 2y squared minus 4y plus 4 minus 5 over 2y plus 1.